Hi everyone, this is Raja from Charger Games and welcome back to this video. So in this video, we're going to learn how we can install and set up Unity and the latest version of Unity that is Unity 6. So let's get started. So in order to go ahead and download Unity, first of all, you can go to Google and simply search for download, download Unity. And from there, you can go ahead and click on the very first link that comes up and it will take you to the download page. Okay. Or you can go to the unity.com website and make sure you create a new account and after that you can go to these products from here click on this unity engine then it will take you to this page and then you can simply click on this get started button after that it will take you the, to this plans and pricing page from here choose the unity personal which is free and simply click on this download now button and then it will take you to this page and from here you can simply click on this download button and it will download something called unity hub now Unity Hub helps you to download and install all the different versions of Unity and all the components of the Unity game engine very, very easily. Okay, so once you have done that, simply click on this download and it will go ahead and download the Unity Hub for you. Now let me go ahead and click on this download button and you will see Unity Hub will start downloading. Now in my case, I have already downloaded and set up Unity Hub. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Unity Hub to show you how everything works. So let's go ahead and open up the Unity Hub. So as you can see, this is how Unity Hub looks like. You can go ahead and make it full screen as well, but I like it like this. All right. Now, as you can see here, we have many different tabs. The project tab and install tabs are the most important things. And we're going to look at them one by one. But before that, you can simply click on this gear icon, which is the preferences button. And if you click that, you will see that on the project tab, you can choose the default location where you can save all your Unity projects. Okay. Also, from the install tab, you can select the location where you can save all of your Unity installs. So, if there's a specific folder where you want to install all the Unity versions, you can go ahead and choose that from here. And from the appearances, you can choose either light or dark version. And from the license, you will need a personal license which is free to get started with Unity. So, simply click on this add button, give some details, and you will get a free personal license. Once you have done that, now it's time to install. So let's go to this installs button. And as you can see here, we have many different tabs. Here we have the official releases, pre-releases and all that. So what you're going to do is we can simply click on this install editor button. And now it will give us three different options. From the official releases, we can download the latest official release. From the pre-releases, we can download any beta version that is available right now. And from the archive, we can go ahead and download any old version of Unity if we need that for our project. Okay. Now you are going to download the official release in most of the cases. And also if you are creating a project which you're going to maintain for a long time, let's say two or three years, in that case, it is recommended to download this long term support version because Unity gives support to these versions for longer time because unity comes up with a new version every now and then so if you want to use the same version for over the years you should always use this lts versions okay so once you have chosen the version that you want to install simply click on this install button and now from here you need to select the components that you want to install now first of all you need this microsoft visual studio which is the default code editor for unity now in my case this is already installed and that is why it is not showing any check mark. But in your case, you need to install this to start coding in Unity. All right. Then from the platforms, if you want to build your games for the Android platform, make sure to check this Android build support, Open JDK, Android SDK, NDK tools, all of these things. Otherwise, you will not be able to build your games for this Android platform. If you want to build for iOS, select this iOS build. If you want to build for other platforms, choose that from here. And if you want to publish your games on the web, make sure to download this WebGL build support. And this is very, very useful to publish your games on the web. Okay. Once you've done that, if you want to install the documentation, you can do that. But it is not recommended because you can always access the documentation online from the Unity Docs website. So once you have selected all these things, all the components that is required, simply click on this continue button and then you can simply click on this I have written agree without reading or agreeing anything and then simply click on install and it will go ahead and install the Unity version and all the components one by one by one. Okay, so once you have go ahead and installed all these components, now it's time to create our new project. So now let's go to this projects tab and from here you can start creating a new project. So you can click on this new project option 
And from the top, as you can see here, you can choose the version of the editor that you want to use for this project. So as you can see, this version I can use, I can use this version, I can use any other older version as well. So anything that is required for this project. Now, if you take a look at the older versions, you will see that if you want to create a 2D or a 3D project, you need to choose this 2D built-in render pipeline and 3D built-in render pipeline, which is the default version. But in case of Unity 6, if you select that, you will see that here you have the universal 2D and the universal 3D is the default render pipeline for creating a new project. So if you want to use the built-in render pipeline, you can simply go ahead and select this one and download them from here. In my case, I have already downloaded them. So that is why they are showing here. But in your case, here you will have a download button like this. You can simply click on that and download this 2D built-in render pipeline or 3D built-in render pipeline options. So now let's go ahead and create a new 2D project to show you the whole process. So let's go ahead and select this 2D built-in render pipeline. And then from the project name, let's create, let's select a name like project test. And from here, you can select the location where you want to save the project. And then you can connect to the Unity Cloud, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to disable it and then simply click on create new project and it will go ahead and create a new project for you. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, Unity is creating a new project for us. And once it's done, it will open up the project for us on the Unity editor. All right, so here as you can see, we have a new empty Unity 2D project opened and this is how it looks like. Now in your case, the layout is probably this default view. So if you want to change this layout, you can simply go to this top right corner from the default, simply use this two by three layout. So this is how an empty 2D Unity project looks like. So thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed and learned a lot of new things. We have learned how to install and set up Unity correctly and how we can create a new 2D or 3D project. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and install and set up Unity. And from the next videos, we can start building games with Unity. So this is Raja from Charger Games. And I'm going to see you in the next video very soon.